Fertile fields, thriving crops, high quality and plentiful yields, healthy and numerous cattle, financial security, a good education for the children, a better home, a better life. The African land can provide all this and more to the hard-working smallholder farmer. The potential is phenomenal. Unfortunately though, this potential remains largely untapped and the majority of African farmers today face great challenges in their daily life. The challenges I face, one is I don't have access to better yielding, better yielding seeds. I don't have access to information on where I can get fertilizer if I need to get it and the access to finance, which I, can, I need to plow my gardens, hire some people to weed and do the harvesting. Productivity is low, so I cannot have enough food to feed my family as well as sell some to meet their other, other needs, like uh, taking them to schools, meeting their medical bills, and all such basics. A small scale farmer like me, we have a problem because we have the low productivity we are facing. We feel inferior in the communities. We feel our families, they don't have pride in us because if you cannot feed your family, for example, you cannot take a child to a school, you can't take a child for treatment, they don't feel proud of you. So psychologically we feel it and we feel we need the help if we can go out of that. Recognizing this vast untapped potential and in an effort to trigger a positive cycle of increased farm production and improve livelihoods for the smallholder farmers, the African Farmers Service Centre, the AFSC, is a service company that provides innovative business solutions that aim towards profitable and sustainable agriculture development and the improvement of the quality of life of African farmers. What AFSC does, it provides a service of linking farmers forward to the markets by having them sign contracts with off-takers who are buyers to provide them with a guaranteed market for produce and also providing a linkage backwards to input finance for them to be able to get seeds and fertilizers for use in production. Our service includes a whole package of training as well for the farmers. We train them from before onset of the season until the end of the season. A major challenge within the economic dimension of sustainable agriculture is to develop subsistence farms into viable small-scale businesses. Farming in Uganda tends to be dominated by small landholders. Declining soil fertility is one of the greatest problems affecting them. Their patches of land gradually become less productive because of the intensive cultivation and soil depletion. Many of them live on depleted land that is prone to drought. Before I joined AFC, my situation was bad. I was having poor financial support. I was not able to buy fertilizer and I was not even able to acquire improved seeds. I was not able to access a loan. I had no idea about farming in time because I could not plan in time. But this project supported me acquire financial support. It has given me fertilizer inputs and uh, improved seeds. It has given me knowledge about farming as business. By training, by demonstrating, I've acquired the skills. It has helped me to, to come about contract 
judgments with the bank and uh, I'm able to acquire enough food and produce the surplus. We provide business planning services in terms of helping the farmers prepare their business plans and also explaining to them how the business plan works. So if they will actually get put profits from getting these loans and inputs and also higher yields. We train them to understand market pricing uh, and also how the loan can be repaid in loan repayment. Input distribution is all about getting the inputs uh, and transporting it from our suppliers to the farmers. Our suppliers are mainly found in uh, large towns that are basically inaccessible by these farmers. So we actually uh, offer the linkage between our farmers and these suppliers. And uh, transportation to the farmers mainly means taking it to the point where farmers can easily access these inputs. We have set up a collection depots for the, our farmers and with this we normally uh, offer transportation assistance to our farmers who are in need. So after the collection has been done in these depots, we always connect our farmers to the buyers through offering transportation assistance again. So we transport inputs from the suppliers to the uh, centers where these farmers can easily access and from the centers we help them with transportation of the collection to our buyers again. We set demonstrations and demonstrate to the farmers the use of improved seed, use of fertilizer. We train them on crop management, disease control, proper post harvest handling. We do also train them on keeping records. The farmer should understand the total production cost in per crop. These trainings are carried out on a weekly basis because we want these farmers always to remember. These farmers receive trainings. We give them inputs and these inputs, beans and soya, which are very nutritive. Women farmers are well appreciated. Their children are no longer malnourished. <laughs> Secondly, their homes are now not the way they were. Because now, farmers are dressing well. Even their children are doing well. Not like they used to, to be. Because men could go and drink, women could suffer at home. This program has brought them together. The trainings have enabled me to learn the way of managing my garden. Before I never used to know how to manage my garden, but now I know how to manage my garden. I know when to spray my beans and I know the time when to harvest them. In fact, there is a change because this garden of ours in this place, there is no manure. It is dry if you don't use fertilizer. But as you gave us fertilizer, we are doing well. That's why I appreciate for this project. We are getting enough for our homes and enough to pay the loan and to supply for other necessities in our homes. Before this scheme came in, we were cultivating traditionally. And our harvests have not always been very favorable until when this scheme came in, there has been a lot of change. Our crops have shown healthy growing. The yields have improved three times as much. We have been farming, but we have not been harvesting the way we have harvested this time. Because we used to cultivate a neck of land, we get only six bags of maize. But currently, I've seen that I've harvested 19 bags. So it's a benefit. Before this scheme, farming was not good because our, we, we, we did not have inputs like fertilizer and uh, chemicals for spray. But because of this scheme now, we have fertilizers. Although we have not uh, done the harvest, the crops promises to give us a good harvest. We are like a cow that's providing milk to the farmers right now. If the cow is not fed, you, you cannot get more milk from it. So we need the farmers really to be committed to the scheme 
and we, sh we, we guarantee our services. It is important to pay the loan because it, it, it teaches uh, like a person like me to know how to give out and uh, how to make business. Should we fail to, of course, pay back the scheme, we shall again be probably failing the scheme to what? To fund us so it may run dry and bankrupt and fail to fund us more and probably collapse. This scheme has helped us to improve the standard of living, whereby we have not been even educating our children in good schools. We can now get the money to take them, uh, our children in private schools where they can give them enough knowledge so that we can have good people in the future who can help us. We have started uh, getting good crops, we have food, we, have, uh, we can educate our children, we can uh, get money for our use. But if we don't pay the loan, we know automatically that we shall not get that inputs and uh, then we shall not have this good farming. message I can give to whoever is not in this scheme is to join this scheme uh, to uplift and boost our economy, to increase our food so that our communities, our families eat enough. <laughs> nga mugenda okunu omwenge okukwa na abakazi njagale ebintu mu bitundire wamu musoro kusasula loni nokwe kulakulanya mu makaga mwe kati bananga abalimi abachala nde mbe bazalo akubanti tuli wano namwe ne ya mauli de genja galu kubawa abalimi echintu echo kutunda buli omunga atunda genja galu kubawa bulako Kubanga, our child, to your name is the Gomba Nova Nafi, Pagaraka Vidia Kalunji, Nakagata Kachi, Akalunji, Kalish Chirio Kureta, Obutakula Kurana Muchi, Makaga Fe, Kalavan Nange, whatever Pagaru Kura Kurana, to Veranga to Koreda Wamu, Nava Miva Fe, to Moku Veranga to a Bidida, Nava Miva Fenabo, the Vajako Bidanga, whatever Bidid Day, Mavarin. Let us help you achieve your potential. Visit our offices and talk to us about your needs. We have extensive experience and we are dedicated to working with you for a better life for all African farmers and their families.